Okay, so I'm back here with another review. This time it's the Red Odo 12 volt mini lithium battery. It's about 35% smaller than the standard battery size. It is a 100 amp hour battery, perfect for RVers. This can easily replace uh, two standard lead acid batteries and you can keep it inside. So I have mine underneath the seat here. So there's no gases, it's completely sealed. This battery has all the advantages, minus one, which is low temperature cutoff. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be using the Victron solar controller in conjunction with their temperature sensor so that it will detect when the battery gets to five degrees Celsius. And when that happens, the solar charger will turn off and will not charge the battery because you could damage lithium batteries by charging them below uh, zero degrees Celsius. Red Odo does have other batteries and I'd highly recommend them. There's one specific that I would recommend for RVers. It's the standard 100 amp hour lithium battery with internal heating. So what that allows you to do is just plug this in and not worry about low temperature cutoff because when it does get cold, the internal heating will kick in and that will allow you to charge and discharge the battery anytime you want. So you don't have to worry about that. You can keep it in a compartment outside on the trailer. You can keep it in those boxes up front, but I'd like to thank Red Odo for sending me this 12 volt lithium mini uh, battery. This is a 100 amp hour battery. It is 35% smaller than a standard 12 volt battery. So it's perfect. It takes up less space. I'm replacing a VMAX 155 amp hour AGM battery that I kept here underneath my seat. Um, for that same space, I could put two of these in there. That, these only weigh 18 pounds. That 155 amp hour AGM battery weighs 90 pounds. So there's a huge difference. So again, I'd like to thank Red Odo for sending this to me. They also sent a 10 amp uh, lithium battery charger. Now it does take a bit of time to charge this. Uh, I was getting about eight amps out of it. So if you discharge this down to zero, it's going to take 10 to 12 hours to charge that. Uh, highly unlikely that you discharge to that low. But if you did, that's the length of time. They do have uh, 20 and 40 amp chargers as well. So that could cut down the charging time. Um, I'm going to be connecting this directly to my 250 watt solar panel on the roof that's connected to a Victron 75-15 amp solar controller, MPPT solar controller. So that easily can charge us up on a bright sunny day from a very low state of charge to full. Uh, I do have a link in the description to their website as well as their link to Amazon because I do sell it there as well. I have a discount code BC Tesla guy that you can use that can save you an additional 4% on their website. Not sure if it's available on the Amazon. So they're a great price. Um, you could purchase uh, three of these for the price of a Battleborn. And three of these would be more than you'd ever need. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in my uh, trailer and set it all up, but this battery ran flawless on the capacity test. It exceeded the capacity. I got between 101 and 102 amp hours. And when I did stop the char dis the test, it was still above 10.8 volts. So there was still uh, battery remaining, but I, all I needed to do was get to the 100 amp hour. So I do know that it's, it meets the capacity. So I'm really happy with this. I'm going to get another one and put it in here as well. So I'll have 200 amp hours of uh, storage, which is more than enough to go away for the weekend and, and not have to worry about turning off TV or lights or anything like that. So anyway, let's go ahead. I'll show you the uh, capacity test. And uh, again, everything is in the description. Uh, about this battery, it's links to the Amazon and to um, their website. So let's get into it. So today I'm doing a uh, capacity test on the Red Odo 
100 amp hour mini 12 volt battery here in my RV. I have every light on in the place. I have both TVs running. I have the power disconnected from the power post. So whatever else is running, there's some um, internet Wi-Fi, uh, a whole bunch of small little uh, streaming devices hooked up to both the TVs. Again, I've got all the lights going and I've got a heater going on the lowest setting, I think is about 600 watts. So, so currently I am pulling uh, just over a thousand watts. Now, if I were to turn off the heater that's in the back there, um, it would be about 250 watts. So I think that's about 20 amps or something like that. So it's actually less than 20 amps right now. I'm pulling 82 amps out of the uh, out of the battery. I'm really surprised. I'll show you my setup here. Really happy with how it is, but I did. Uh, before turning on the heater, I just tried to see how long it would actually run with just the TV and a few lights. Again, I've got the water heater turned on to, to gas, so the igniter would come on randomly. That'll pull out a little bit of energy. I've also got the fridge. It's on um, gas as well. So it's there's nothing really running 110 other than the televisions. Um, and a few little small little things like the TV or the microwave has the clock on so there are some small draws but nothing of substantial so right now I've been running uh, for a better part of an hour until I decide to turn on the the uh, heater it says right now I've got I've used 43.5 amp hours out of the battery and I've got 39 minutes remaining so let's go ahead and we'll take a look at all the things I have turned on and then uh, we'll go and I'll show you the setup that I have here and again this is the 100 amp hour mini 12 volt battery from Red Odo Red Odo um, super light what I've swapped it out from is I have and again I'll show you that but I swapped out from a VMAX tank 155 amp hour AGM battery uh, with a capacity of usable of approximately 75 amp hours. Had it for about 12 years. Uh, it's no good anymore, so this is really nice to have this. Um, I was not able to run any uh, 110 stuff off of the uh, inverter. But with this uh, setup, I'm able to run the microwave, um, again, a heater that's pulling, uh, you know, combined right now, it's 1,020 watts is what we're pulling. So let's go ahead and I'll show you all the things I've got turned on. Okay, so you can see I've got the heater right here. It's running. That's, that's the primary uh, pull of power that's happening got all the lights going I've got the exhaust fan and the light going on in the bathroom and then you can see I've got all these lights I've got a light up here that's running um, here's that TV so I've got the TV running right here and then I've got this TV on pause but it is using some energy I've got those lights right there so that's the the pull draw or full draw of energy that's being happening right now so let's go ahead and let's just take a look at my setup so you'll see right here this is the red odo battery this is the 100 amp hour mini 12 volt this is a 90 pound so this one's like 18 or 19 pounds this one right here is the vmax uh, tank uh, 155 amp hour AGM battery this thing weighs 90 pounds it's crazy if I lift this up here I can no problem lifting this up okay so this is the replacement so much smaller you can see that it's shorter it's not as long this is not a standard 12 volt battery. Again, typically you would get a 100 amp hour that weighs about 65 pounds. I got this one because I wanted a, a bigger uh, 
uh, capacity. Uh, it's done fine for me up till now, but I, I can tell you I'm super happy with this one here. So I have the positive power run into this block that's right there, right here, which is run off of a fuse, and then it goes into this switch that goes, and I have it connected to a Renogy 2000 uh, watt, 4000 watt peak pure sine wave inverter. I have it hardwired into a uh, switch that detects if there's power coming from the power post. So if I turn off, if I plug in the power, it will switch to that automatically and, and it won't use this. Back here, I have the solar. It's a 250 watt solar panel. I have that turned off right now, which is being charged. Uh, using a Victron 15 amp uh, solar controller. Back here is the Victron, it's right here, is the Victron, let's see if we can get this a little bit better. So this is the Victron smart shunt. So everything gets plugged into the negative side here. And then this goes directly to the battery right here. So the shunt is measuring all the energy going in and out of the battery. And that's how I'm able to use the Victron app and I can tell you exactly how it's running. So I have multiple shutoff points. I'll just show those. I have the shutoff point for the solar panels. So I can turn those off. I have a shutoff point for the inverter. So if I want to turn that off, uh, and not allow any energy to go there. I can turn it off here. And then down here is the full battery disconnect. So this I can disconnect the uh, 12 volt battery from the system. So if I'm in storage, I can disconnect it so there's no draws, but I have it wired so that I can still charge the batteries from the solar panels. Anyway, so that's the size. It is just amazing how small this is and its cap cap capabilities. I would highly recommend getting these because in this spot right here, I could put two of these and that would be about 40 pounds. And for 40 pounds, I would get 200 amp hours of energy. This one here, I'm getting maybe 75 and it would take up about the same space. Okay, so just looking at the, uh, uh, we've pulled out one, 101.2 amp hours. I just had to turn off the heater. Uh, it was bringing the voltage down pretty quick. It had dropped to just around 10.8. We're now sitting at 10.87, so that's the minimum that I want to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and charge up the battery, but we were able to pull 101 amp hours out of this 100 amp hour battery, so that is fantastic. Um, with the heater turned off, again, we're pulling about 19 amps, so that would be about five hours with every light on, with the fans on, everything going, two TVs, it would drop substantially if we just had one TV and a few lights on. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead, we'll charge this battery up and we'll have another final discussion at the end. So here are my final thoughts on the Red Odo 12 volt mini lithium battery for its size and weight of only 18 pounds. It delivered 101 amp hours uh, continuously under a load of approximately 82 amps or about a thousand watts for the entire duration until the end. So pretty great. It delivered exactly what you would expect from it. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and charge it back up and I'm really pleased with the capability of pulling a thousand watts without question. I mean, it pulled 80 amps solid for from 100% right down to zero. And then uh, the uh, inverter uh, hit its uh, limit and uh, I had to turn off the heater. So at 101 amp hours. So again, very good. Um, I'm currently charging it up using this 10 amp hour Redoto uh, lithium charger. It's a 14.6 volt uh, charger. 
uh, it brings it up to full charge and then we'll hold it there. Um, I won't leave it connected. Um, there's also a uh, charge controller in the trailer that I'll be turning off because I don't want that to charge and keep it at a steady charge either. So I'll just be charging it with the uh, solar controller because I can actually control the amount of voltage uh, that it's going to charge up to. And by doing that, I'm actually able to limit the amount of charge that I will put on this battery. So I'd like to keep it at 80% or less. Uh, I might even consider dropping it down to 70%. Uh, if I, again, uh, look at a normal usage, if I have the hot water heater set to gas as well as the fridge, so that's what you do when you're boondocking, um, I could use any power I want in this trailer. Um, I did have both TVs running. I've got the um, internet connection running. I've got multiple streaming devices plugged into the TVs that are also being using electricity. I had every light in this place on and that was 18 amps. So that would be uh, between five and six hours from 100% to dead. If I just had the one TV and a few lights on, uh, I think it was somewhere around 12 amps, which gives me plenty of charge in the evening that we won't have to worry about uh, uh, running out of energy. And if I did, then possibly, and I am really considering purchasing another one of these. Again, I'd like to thank, I would like to thank Red Odo for sending me this uh, charger plus the 12 volt mini lithium battery for review. Uh, I can't say enough. They're amazing. They worked really well. In fact, I'm looking at purchasing another one to put in my trailer. So that will give me 200 amp hours of power. I'm hoping when I get my boat back from repair that I can purchase or get a 50 amp hour battery for review. And I can show you how that works out on the water. Now, I have heard some really good things about that 50 amp hour battery. Uh, it looks like that 50 amp hour battery is actually 65 amp, amp hours. And so that would be great for out on the water trolling on a outboard motor restricted uh, lake uh, or just trolling for uh, fish. So it would be really good. It also would power any uh, depth finders, fish finders, your stereo, you can plug in all your stuff so you can charge all your utilities. So I'm really hoping to get a chance to do that review as well for you guys. And I will if I get an opportunity. Anyway, uh, I hope you like this review. And uh, if you want to see more reviews like this, just let me know. Anyway, thanks.